welcome to Wednesdays on Daily Diabetics. I am your host today, Tyrone Cat, and today we're going to be sharing uh, low blood sugar stories. So uh, let's get on with it. with my main channel which is type 1 cat which i've already mentioned um it's actually sorry that i've already put on there unfortunately because i've only been diabetic for two years and for most of it i'm very lucky with the fact that i don't have i've not had many instances the only stories i have to share are the ones i already have shared but um i'm hoping i'll be able to describe it a little differently i have run through the video once and um, just watching it on my channel and I have the notes that I made let's see how it goes uh, today's story is going to be called the cookie disaster so this all happened I know it was the beginning half of 2018 so um, still in the same year I'm in right now um, I was in my previous job and the lunch hours were 1 till 2 p.m. Uh, so we have an hour's lunch so i've done my lunch i've had my lunch as normal it would have been around four to five um units of insulin or carb um so 45 grams of carb to 50 grams of carb i can't remember it was ages ago um but i do remember that day that someone had brought a pack of cookies in and i am um, quite a big sweet tooth um cookies aren't generally something that i generally have um not for any particular reason it's just something i don't normally gravitate towards i'm more of a chocolate person um but i do i do quite like a cookie it was one of those big softer ones my favorite um so we brought these cookies in and they i remember they were like white chocolate and something let's say it's white, white chocolate and rhubarb it was something along those lines like quite a fancy one um, so I'm not one to deny myself uh, just because I'm diabetic I like to just take it in my stride and just deal with it um, how I can so I decided that I would have it about 4 o'clock because it's a good while after lunch um, good 2 hours after lunch good 2 hours before um, tea it's generally when I have a snack because um, I find that it helps uh, balance my blood sugars out um, nicely if I want to have anything so I decided I'm going to do them so it has come to oh never mind i didn't have it at four high at three i'm not even reading my own notes right so it's three o'clock i'm testing my blood and it's 12.5 which i'm thinking mm, that's quite it's quite high and i'm thinking back and i'm going i can't even remember doing my blood at, at lunchtime um so i check on my pen so if you clicked off my pen it tells me the last time or gives me it tells me what my last injection was and then gives me an indication of how long ago it was and from that i could tell yeah my last injection was at lunch um at breakfast so i didn't even do my lunch um so I decided that I was going to inject eight units, um, four for my lunch and four for the cookie. Um, I remember in my last video I was talking about how I was thinking that the cookie would be more than that so I've done a bit less so I'm trying to avoid a hypo. Obviously this didn't work. Um, so I've done eight units and it is now uh, quarter past three. My blood is eight, um, 11.8 so that's okay it's a little bit lower um and then i'm testing it at half three and it's gone to 11.7 uh so it's dropping like a, a point which is nothing i'm testing it at an hour later and it's dropped from 11.7 to 4.6 and i'm like oh geez this <laughs> is not good so i am very keeping a very close watching it so i'm doing it 10 minutes later and it's dropped for to 4.2 so i don't like the fact that it's still going down and um, i gave it those 10 minutes just to see if maybe it petered out and um, i don't have a con continuous glucose monitor or anything i'm just simply using what i'm feeling in my body like how i feel within myself and um, using a finger pricker 
Um, I'm, this would have been perfect moment to have a glucose monitor, which is obviously a reason why they are very useful to people. Um, but I personally don't have one. Um, so I want to do something. Right, so at this point, I'm like, I don't like the fact it's going low. I mean, it's going even, like, it's going down even quicker. I'm going to do something about it. So I decided to take a, what are they called? A glucose juice. Um, luckily, a I don't know how much before that, but previously to this day, I had done a video on hunting for hypo treatments, which I go around all the big stores in my town and finding what hypo treatments I can get hold of. And one of them was a glucose juice. So luckily, I had this on me. That's a very, this is a very fast acting hypo treatment, and um, and it works really, really well. So I remember I took that. I remember it wasn't the most pleasant thing to have just because it's so different to anything else you would normally have it's just basically it's pure it's basically pure glucose it's um, a bit of an odd uh kind of consistency and, but anyway it worked very well uh so it is now 10 minutes later and it's gone up to 5.7 so i'm happy about this it's going it's working like in within 10 minutes it's um, it's going up um uh five five oh five it is six five twenty i'm leaving work and it's eight so it's still going up um i've just got home and it is six ten minutes past six and i'm six point five so i'm yo yoing a bit here which isn't very pleasant and um, next one i do is six fifty seven so it's basically seven o'clock and i'm up to eight again then I've just gotten to my boyfriend's house because I was staying over the night. It's eight half eight and I am five point two, so I'm still yo-yoing. It doesn't feel great, um, but like I said in my last video, oh, I tested my blood because I was having three units of chocolate, um, so I don't know what chocolate I was eating, but I said eating some chocolate and I'm testing my blood. And that's why I found out I'd gone down again. It doesn't feel great um, to do this yo-yoing, but at least it's it's between eight and six, so it's not the worst. It's not the biggest yo-yo in the world. Um, at quarter past eleven, we'd order some takeaway. Um, I was having some chicken fillets and two slices of the pizza, and I tested my blood, and I was two point five. I didn't even feel this hypo, um, so that wasn't great. Um, Um, I'd eaten all my food, I don't believe, I'm pretty sure I decided that I was just going to eat the food and see how I went on because of the fact that I didn't feel the hypo that normally means that it's going up itself at that point um, so I decided to eat the food so at half 11 I tested it again and it's 6.4 I've eaten all my food, I'm pretty sure probably going to go so feel it Okay, and then, so it's 6.4 at this moment, so I decided, right, and the hypo has fixed itself. Um, I'm going to do five units for what I'd eaten. I test my blood at 1, oh, it's basically 2am 2, 2 at this point. Um, I'd fallen asleep beforehand and my boyfriend had waken me up as he was getting ready for bed. Um, and it was 3.7, so I'd gone low again. And I decided to have two glucose tablets, which by the way, I don't like, they're not terribly nice. It tastes like, um, it's too dry. It's a very, uh, it's a bit of a, um, eating ice kind of, um, not in the fact that it, it's that kind of, it goes through you. It's like eating, oh, it goes through me a bit, like eating, it's like eating sand or something, but like, a, I don't know. You know what I mean? If you had them, I really don't like them. Um... It's must have been just before I'd um, done that video, um, just after I'd done the video because I obviously had all these things on me. Um, so, like I said, at, oh well, it was 1.49 when I tested my blood first and it was 3.7 and then at 1.57, so 10 minutes later, thereabouts, just less. Um, I tested my blood again and it was 3.1 and I remember saying that I hadn't even noticed that it was dropping down it was um, Sam that had noticed that um, it, 
it was in had gone down to the two three point one. I just remember that it was three, um, but I really hadn't noticed it because I was half asleep. Um, so at that point, I had one more glucose tablets and a one of my Nature Valley baths. I'm pretty sure it would have been um, what are they called um, one of the crunch oh that chocolate bars which is like the ones where you get two in one like a pack i think that's what it would have been it would only be in 10 grams of carb if it was um and then five minutes later at 204 and my blood is 4.7 so it's finally going up which is a relief and then i must have decided that it was that was fine at that point so i'd gone to bed and then when i woken up at 9 48 and uh, my blood was 6.9 so a very nice call to wake up to and um, um, like i said i don't have a continuous glucose monitor so i can tell you what it was doing throughout the rest of the night but luckily it seems it went it fixed itself and it was all right pretty sure the days after that it was fine um so i'm pretty lucky with that uh, but yeah, that um, that teaches me <laughs> to forget to do my lunch. What I probably should have done was just forget about my lunch and just done the cookie and just kind of let my blood go high or whatever it was going to do. I shouldn't have done the lunch and done the lunch for the lunch a few hours afterwards. Uh, yeah, that's my lesson. Um, like I said, that was the last um, kind of big story I had. It was a good few months ago. Uh, when I have hypos, the gem there's generally no real story behind them. Um, it's generally I've done a bit of too much insulin. I'm generally in a pretty normal situation where I'm at home or not doing anything too completely really dramatic or different to have a story about it. Um, I was trying to think of a story to do for this um, weekly collab and I was thinking imagine if I'd had a hypo during an interview or something and um, that would have been interesting it would have been really rubbish and not very nice that I have but at least would have made a story I don't know um but yeah I hope you enjoyed the story I hope you can learn a lesson from me uh don't do that let's not do the um the yeah <laughs> If you have any hypo stories, I would love to hear them. Um, you can just leave them down below if you like in the comments. I'd love to read them. And yes, I really hope you have a great week. And I can't wait to see you next week. Bye.